Hello, Pablo Vergara, or Big Pablo is what I would, what I like calling you. I decided to make a video for you on Pablo Sandoval. Who's Pablo Sandoval? Well, let me get this thing going. Pablo Emilio Juan Pedro Sandoval Jr. Bo who was bo is born was born on August 11, 1986, is a Venezuelan professional baseball third baseman for the Boston Red Sox of the MLB. He previously played seven seasons for San Francisco Giants, nicknamed Kung Fu Panda, or simply the Panda. Alright, hang on. Um, let's see. Early life. Sandoval was born to Pablo Sr. and Amelia Sandoval on August 11th, 1986 in Puerto Rico, in Puerto Cabello, Carabobo, Venezuela. He practiced baseball in an empty two-car garage with his older brother, Michael. His favorite players were Omar Vizquil, later his teammate on the Giants, and Andres Gallagher. He was born left-handed but wanted to be able to play shortstop like Vizquil. Thus at nine, he taught himself to throw right-handed as well. He can still throw with both hands, but throws right-handed during games. Original career. Sandoval received notice from scouts in 2002 when he, won, when he went to the Dominican Republic for a scouting tournament. A scout for the Texas Rangers showed Sandoval, told Sandoval he would come to Venezuela to sign him, but he did not show up. After two weeks, Ciro Villalobos, a scout for the San Francisco Giants, offered Sandoval a contract, and he signed. Sandoval began his professional career as a catcher in 2004 with the rookie AZL Giants hitting 2.266 with no home runs and 26 runs batted in. RBI in 177 at bats. The San Francisco G All right, hang on. Uh, no, never mind. In 2005, he was used almost entirely as a third baseman while playing for the single A short season Salem Kaiser Volcanoes. He hit .330 second in the Northwest League to Mike Moses with three home runs and 50 RBIs, one behind Louis Valbuena's total. His batting average slumped in 2006 to .25. He had one home run and 49 RBIs with a single A, Augusta Green Jack, to the South Atlantic League that year. Splitting time between first and third. In 2007, he played for the single A advanced San Jose Giants, hitting .287 with 11 homers and 52 RBIs. That season, he was used as a catcher in first base, and he helped San Jose win the California League Championship. In 2008, he spent time with two minor league teams, San Jose and the AA Connecticut Defenders of the Eastern League, before being called up to the majors. In 273 at bats for San Jose, he hit .359 with 12 home runs and 59 RBIs. In 175 bats of Connecticut, he hit .337 with 8 homers and 37 RBIs. In total, he hit the .350 with 20 home runs and 96 RBIs in 2008. Alright. San Francisco Giants. Sandoval was called up to the majors on August 13, 2008. He debuted the next day going 0-3 in a 7-4 loss to Houston Astros. And his first Major League Baseball plate appearance... He hit an RBI sacrifice like He got his first hit against Mike Hampton in second inning of his next game. Excuse me. August 16th on his way to going 3 for 5 in an 11 to 5 loss to Atlanta Braves. In 41 games to the night, he hit .345 with three home runs and 24 RBI, striking out 14 times and grounding in a six double plays in one of 54 bats. He hit his first MLB home run on August 27th off of Livin Hernandez in a 4-1 to triangle with the Colorado Rockies. On defense, Sandoval was used at first base. At third base and at catcher, teammate Barry Zito gave Sandoval the nickname 
Kung Fu Panda. After that recent movie, and Azito win on Saturday night team, the rock Rotan Sandoval scored a run against the Los Angeles Dodgers by acrobatically jumping over the tag catcher Danny Ardoin. 2009. Sandoval made the Giants' opening day roster out of spring training in 2009 as the Giants' starting third baseman and backup catcher. He, he served as a personal catcher for Zito at the beginning of the year. On May 12, Sandoval hit his first walk-off run against Joe Baymill to beat the Washington Nationals 9-7. Following an elbow injury to Sandoval in May, the Giants called up Eli Whiteside to serve as the backup catcher on May 24. Since then, Sandoval had not been used at all as a catcher. After 73 games played, San Francisco Chronicle Columbus Scott also wrote that Sandoval had made the most impressive transition from the Giants' farm system since 1986 when Will Clark and Robbie Thompson were rookies. Sandoval's first days in the midge were marked by a tendency to free swim. Giants hitting coach Carney Lenz Ford noted that Sandoval contributing to the team's drawing the fewest walks in the National League at a time. When the overall number of walks throughout baseball had increased, In July 2009, he was named a sprint final vote candidate for the 80th annual All-Star Game for the final Ross spot on the National League team. He was edged by Shane Victorino of the Philadelphia Phillies on the last day of voting. On July 6th, Sandoval hit his first career Grand Slam home at AT&T Park against Sean West of the visiting Florida Marlins. <laughs> Excuse me. In a 5-4 victory. He hit his home first home run into McCovey Cove on July 30th, the 50th anniversary of the MLB debut of Willie McCovey, who was in attendance. Sandoval's. Alright. Sandoval finished the 2009 season with 25 home runs and 90 RBI in 153 games. He had the second highest batting average among National League hit hitters. At point three three. Due to his service time in 2008, he was ineligible for the NL Rookie of the Year award, which went to Chris Coble. 2010. During the offseason, the Giants had Sandoval work on losing weight late. Sandoval, however, saw a sophomore slump in 2010. He struggled all season to come close to his 2009 totals and saw himself drop to eighth in the batting order in a game on June 5th. One bright spot in the season came on Arsenal when Pat Burrow and Sandoval hit back-to-back -back home runs against Wendy, Randy Wells of the Cubs in an 8-7 victory. But Sandoval's home run snapped a 46-game home run drought. Sandoval finished the season with a .268 batting average and 13 home runs and 63 RBI. His his batting average with running runners and scoring position also dropped. Overweight and unproductive, he was benched during the 2010 National League Championship Series for one run and limited to three at-bats in the 2010 World Series. However, Sandoval earned his first World Series and the Giants won their first World Series since 1954, securing the championship in five games over the Texas Rangers. 2011. Entering 2011, the Giants made a public lies campaign about Operation Panda, which was aimed at getting Sandoval into better shape during the offseason. By the end of 2010, he had weighed 270 pounds. Sandoval hired triple threat for once of Tempe, Arizona, help him lose weight to help improve his horns. Operation Panda worked masterfully, with third baseman losing 30-plus pounds. And more importantly, it led to results on the field for Sandoval. After superb 2010 season... Sandoval returned to the night before. He got off to a good search line, but suffered a broken right hand. He made bone late April, missed 41 games. He was activated off the on June 14th at 22 in Hidden Street from June 19th to July 14th. On July 10th, Dylan Sandoval selected to the National League All Star team. Two thousand twelve. Oops, my bad. Sorry about that. Um
However, in May, Sandoval fractured his left timid bone and injury, which came out to the injury. Giants head of the trainer, Dave Gore, said the day before Sandoval's surgery. Surgery. And he also injured his left hamstring at the end of July and was on the up on a second time since the 12th. In 2012, of Game of the World Series, he hit three home runs. Two off of them for Lander. In 2013, he was on the DL with a left foot injury. And he did well in the team. In 2014, Operation Panda did not last. By the end of the day, Sandoval again needed to lose weight. Encouraged by several teams and Giants General Mayor Brian said he showed up spring chains several pounds lighter. The weight did not lead to immediate results of Sandoval. In the 2014 World Series, his postseason on base streak ended at 25. In Game 7, he records 26 hit of the postseason. And it was the third World Series for five seasons. And Sandoval became free agent. On November 24, 2013, Pablo Sandoval came to agreement with the Boston Red Sox on a five-year, $90 million contract with a six-year option. Of course, now he plays for the Red Sox. Here's his playing career. Pablo Sandoval. Giants 2008 2014. Red Sox 2015 to present. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Bye.